Hey everyone, welcome back to another speed build on my channel. This one is a long awaited one. Well, for me, anyways, I've been trying to get this done for such a long time now. But this is my first ever build with the new Snowy Escape pack from. Um, they just launched recently and uh, yeah I'm building this build which is a Japanese minimalism mansion kind of situation it's like a rich man's house basically like a rich Japanese man's house <laughs> I would say that this is mm, yeah and I built this in Mündenberg instead of Mount Komorebi in on a 40 by 30 lot right beside the, shri the shrieking llama I think that bar is called yeah but uh, I, I did it here because I wanted a mountainous place, but I didn't want it to be in the snow. And the rest of the towns on Mount, in Mount Komorebi is a little bit too, I would say, suburban for what I wanted it to be. Like the, the, the surroundings were just not, not it for me. I wanted this like slightly more mountainous area basically and uh yeah so i just built here it was the perfect place for it and uh this this build turned out to be humongous um but it is also insanely difficult to try to plan out a floor plan for what is essentially just a gigantic <laughs> rectangular shoe box um but yeah so i basically did this i had this idea basically and i really wanted to make like a minimalist sort of build even though it's not really like very much supported by the built by objects in snowy escape but i was just inspired by the whole japanese themed um well uh i guess aura in the air i don't know just like everyone's just doing japanese builds and i just wanted to do one of these i don't know i just I like doing modern builds, I think. So I did this thing here. Um, the focus of this build, if you just saw me do that, is like um, those... Um, are those vertical slats, the wooden slats that you see me put all the way in front of the house right there. Um, those are like the feature wall kind of situation that I really wanted as like the main focal point of the whole house it's supposed to be very very simple not much like pop-outs and stuff so i really really intended for it to be just like one rectangle given it doesn't really look that good in, in the game itself it's just very nice to have something like that in real life i think like in real life i would think that um this would be a house to be envied at because um it would be so um amazingly minimal um, even though it doesn't look that good in a sims, if I may say so myself. It's really just a box. <laughs> and um, in the sims, I don't know, somehow we're just allergic to boxes. And empty walls, which um, this build has a lot of. So that's also another thing that I should warn you about here. And right here, you're looking at me struggling with um, the tatami mat on these traditional Japanese sitting area, dining area sort of situation here. Um, I after looking at Pinterest for a while, I was like, I think a lot of Japanese houses that are more on the expensive side um, has one of these uh, these traditional um, living spaces, eating, dining, hanging out spaces in their house. I don't even think that it's just like a rich man's thing, but I guess like being a rich man gives you the um, opportunity to have more space to get. Um, something like this in your house because usually you know you know in japan most of the areas most of the apartments most of the houses they are actually kind of tiny so if you have a lot of space i imagine you want something like that um to be in your house so um i included one of those it was very fun to make something like that um it is very specific to their culture and i really enjoyed doing that and uh yeah you see me um struggling with the floor plan here and there this this toilet that i'm currently planning out right now was a struggle um to plan out because like it, it's just a box but i had to put in more rooms to include the toilet in a separate area and the the bath the bathtub shower combo in another area and stuff like that it was kind of a struggle actually to make it all work out and i really actually initially wanted two shower rooms one that is connected to the bathtub and one that is actually just the shower room 
because like it's a bigger space and I wanted there to be like an option for someone to just hop inside to shower and just shower instead of hopping into this um, bathtub area but in the end it didn't work out so I had to take that out put a basin in instead and um, right here you'll see me like struggling with like the whole um, <laughs> you see me doing a fancy little dip it for the shower area but I ended up removing that and shifting that shower the shower head over to the other side of the wall because I don't know it just made more sense that way I just ended up deciding that it's not good enough for me that was what I did and also for this house I just you know I just went with all the the traditional things um, I play with a lot of the platform tool as you can see there's this like little sunken down portion that would be like a lesser like I don't know what is this like a living room area a conversation area by the fireplace it is sunken down it's one of the more modern areas of the house um the genkan is of course a feature in this house because it's a japanese house genkans are um, part of my culture as well i'm not even japanese but genkans are great uh, you put shoes there you take off your shoes there um wonderful things <laughs> um yeah so um you i don't know i'm just doing more slats here apparently and just sectioning out the house a little bit and here yes 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 i was waiting for this um i'm doing like a little stone zen zen stone garden i would say um i should say <laughs> outside um directly overlooking directly overlooked by the traditional japanese sitting room area because i just figured that it would be a very nice space to put something like a zen garden in front of when you're just like, you know, dining or hanging out with, I don't think it's a place where you hang out with people, but more like, you know, for formal, formal events, formal um, entertaining of guests, things like that. So I just try to create some patterns in the, in the stone gravel um, floor situation here as one would in real life, but it was very hard because it's just rotating little tiny tiles in game. I wish that thing came in like a that pattern the, the the gravel pattern came in like a a terrain paint version a terrain no wait what terrain paint version <laughs> because that would mean that i can um well we can you know draw freely and make that actual you know swirly textures that you can see in actual stone gardens um, but we cannot do that, so that was the best I could do, I guess. It's kind of ugly, but kind of better than just straight lines, vertical or horizontal, you know, what have you. And I just, like, flipped some cabinets over here to make sh make it look like a very minimal sort of cabinet um, cabinetry. <laughs> do you call it cabinetry? But just storage space. And th this raised platform area over here is more like a little deck core putting i don't know like a display area i would say like for just a, a couple of them and different things every single tatami mat room with um, a traditional setting usually has something like this where the owner would display some things that may be of value or just more beautiful things like a collector's item sometimes it also houses like an altar or something of like your ancestors and stuff so i just wanted to incorporate that you know pay homage to that area although this one is more for like just pretty um displayable items you know and over here, another element of like a Japanese minimalism house is that they really pay attention to, you know, space, playing with space, playing with light, playing with inviting nature into their house, you know, inviting that um, sense of Zen slash connection to nature. And there, there's also this like, I think, I don't know if it's, I, th I think it's just a Japanese thing, like a lot of like, they're just very respectful of nature, most of them. <laughs> and um, they tend to build houses around trees. And there's like this this whole like concept of building houses around trees. I don't think it's just exclusively Japanese, but the Japanese do them as well. So I just kind of imagined that they built this house around that little tree over there, which is like a very nicely shaped Japanese pine tree. I don't know what tree that is, but it's just a tree that is very, very beautiful. Um, and um, I just pretended that it's like a, it's like a one of those built around the tree kind of situation. So I really liked how that tree gave the house a little bit of that. <coughs> uh, apologies. Gave the house a little bit of that um, 
well, nature, the injection of nature into the house while still being on the outside of the house because it's just surrounded by glass. But you can see the tree from a lot of ang different angles in the house, like from the Genkan all the way to when you exit your room, your bedroom, you will see that tree. And it's like a very, very integral, in integral? integral part of this household. And I really like the idea that it feels very thought of. It feels like from every every single angle of the house, most of the angles of the house, you will be able to see that tree. And uh, yeah, it just made, makes me happy to have a house, to think that I will have a house one day in the future where I can walk out and see a very historic slash just beautiful tree when I walk out the house. I don't know, it's just a, it's just, it's just a thing. It's just a thing and I think it's a nice thing. But anyways, there's a lot of things in one sentence. Um, is that even a sentence? But anyways, here we're working on, I am working on the master bedroom ensuite situation. I still managed to add in like the separated rooms for the bath and uh, the toilet um, a la Japanese style. Um, I really like this like, I don't know, I just really like how this bathroom turned out. It was really cool by the end. I also wanted to make it like a walk-in wardrobe sort of situation. So I do hang a couple of those clothing racks on the wall. Uh, yeah, I would have wanted it to be bigger. I think in real life it would have been a lot smart it would have been like a smarter use of space but because we are dealing with a great situation in the sims it's not as possible to deal to like have a smarter use of space <laughs> for like both a wardrobe and a toilet that is of that kind of situation you know but yeah so um, I decided to go for like wooden floors all throughout the house that there, there needs to be a lot of wood a lot of lines um, that just gives you that sense of calm. And I really love these huge windows that just brings in so much light. It floods the room, floods the house with so much light. And I really like the use of very light to medium toned woods. It just makes the place look very good. Yeah. And here you can see me join two of the Snowy Escape um, dining tables, a smaller one, into one because that's the table that I really like the best. And uh, I do feel like I should say, while you watch me do some more of the cabinetry magic in <laughs> the kitchen, because I wanted that that um, effect. And I had to use the two mod for this because it's like, I don't know how to make it work otherwise, um, because the, the wall is so tall. <laughs> I needed two layers of those cabinets. But um, for the table, there's going to be two chairs right in the middle that you won't be able to use because I wanted to make sure that they looked kind of spaced out but still even so the two in the middle as you can see it's not slotted into the table as you saw i guess it's not slotted into the table so the sims that you play with in this household if you ever do download this household to play in you would not be able to have your sims sit there because the sims would not recognize it as being connected to the table yeah so you can see me doing that um two mod thingy trying to move everything here and there to make sure that you know, it looks like a vertical line straight up all the way to the ceiling, which is a very, very tall ceiling. Um, yeah, and you see me doing like, you know, putting under cabinet light, lighting, some lamps here and there. Um, I will soon clutter this place as well. And I feel like at this point, I should just warn you now. Um, when I was doing this build, it was such a struggle. I was so concentrated on trying to get this build done. There was a lot of trial and error when it came to this build um i did a lot of trial rooms i didn't know what to do for a lot of the rooms i had to redo the floor plans uh, the floor plan again and again and again and again <laughs> trying to make something work something make sense so while i was struggling with all of that things uh with all of those uh i forgot to record a huge part of this entire build and i am so sorry that you would not be able to see me build um quite a big part of the house actually um and uh i do build this house for two like a pair of parents and a teenage daughter or son in mine so there is two double beds two bedrooms three bathrooms in this house um the master bedroom is obviously for like the parents and there's also a uh, quite a sizable room for a teenage daughter or son depending it really doesn't matter um, I didn't really do it in any style that is very gender identifiable. It looks like it's the house that 
um, people hasn't moved in yet, but they will soon, uh, <laughs> given how minimal everything is and there's not a lot of personal clutter everywhere. And uh, you'll see that in a, in, in a while. But I also forgot to... Um, well, not forgot. <laughs> I didn't press record for when I built the garden at the back with the bamboo. There's like another garden there. That's, that's an accessible garden that is indoors. Um, you will see that briefly later because I try to show you that. But um, it's not going <laughs> to really be like a built thing because like it was not recorded. And I am so sorry. There was That's one of my favorite rooms actually because it's just like a little garden, indoor garden that's still like... It is, it is like a place where you can go out and breathe in fresh air. Like this is the room here. It, it turns into like a lawn garden area that is very small. But there's like stone benches here for you to sit and, you know, just relax. Look into the trees, look at the greenery while still being indoors so it's like a little dream it's like a little dream space where it's like you're neither outside or inside and i really like that little duality kind of situation with that concept of that place and here you'll see me doing um this laundry room area um in the room that is directly behind the kitchen the kitchen area is just too long so i decided to separate it into two and initially i wanted the dining room to be here in this room but uh in the end i just decided to put it outside instead because it made more sense and here i changed it into like a half a zen room half a laundry utilities room because well this side of the room you can see the the zen stone garden so it's like a perfect place for some yoga for some meditation so that's what i did there and here because it's connected to the kitchen it's only it's only um fair i guess no it's only reasonable for you to put laundry in this room right here so that's what i did yeah i really like this room actually it turned out really good initially wanted it to be like a no i after scraping the dining room idea i wanted it to be like a living room sort of area where you have like on i guess it's called a media room so there's like a tv inside and stuff didn't really work out in the end so um i moved it to the back instead and uh yeah which is gonna be coming soon actually here you can see a little glimpse of like the third bathroom that i forgot to film again well this is the teenager's bedroom and you see me doing like some of the cluttering of the table and um things like that i'll be hopping around here and there actually because like there's a lot of things <laughs> there's a lot of things that i had to deal with with this build um i just i don't know i really love how it turned out it's not my best build at all but um it is a labor of love <laughs> i spent so much time so much effort trying to make this work that i i just feel an attachment to this but yeah here is the media room that i just moved to this area over here it's a room in the back corner this can be easily converted into another spare bedroom if you want it to it can be anything you want it to be it can be a gym as well if you want it to be but it's like the only place with like a tv in the room so i guess it's kind of it's kind of reasonable for it to be here or it can be a study too i guess so yeah it's like a it's like an area with the tv and with some books it's a bookshelf at the back and a little um chair for like a makeshift reading nook area by the window and you can see a little glimpse of like the um, garden right outside accessible through the hallway outside this room and this is just me trying to do final cut cut cluttering of the teenager's house house room oh my god guys it is 3 45 a.m in the morning and i'm doing this voiceover because i cannot wait for this one to be done i have been trying to edit this to build this for the longest time and i'm so excited it's almost done and uh yeah so i'm just sitting through this even though it's like almost daytime <laughs> in a couple hours but yeah so i decided to make the outside of this house like very manicured so more um is this tarmac or asphalt i don't know just like more pavements more um tiles than actual grass but i still want to keep a little bit of like the manicured um lawn look going on, on the outside so just keep with the team the theme of nature to just still make it look as if it is nicely um, landscaped but minimally as well it's very weird to do this it's very counterintuitive because i'm so used to just you know spamming that that bushes those bushes the rose the flowers um the grass the trees 
didn't happen on this slot. Very weird, very weird for me to, to do that. It sort of feels kind of empty, but... Well, we're reaching the end of the build actually, so... <laughs> But yeah, um, actually overall, it just kind of ended up looking kind of nice, honestly. I could have just added like a debug car there to make it look more realistic as well. You can add it in if you want, but I really like how it turned out in the end. Uh, yeah, so before I end too late, thank you so much for watching this if you've watched all the way to the end. I hope you enjoy this build. You can download it off the gallery at Show Me Bear. Um, which is also the username here on my YouTube channel. And also don't forget to follow me on Twitch. I do stream um, Sims 4 sometimes and I do build and stuff. So do check me out there as well. And with that, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Yeah. Is it alright? If I tell you some of my secrets and over my head right now Think they're gonna wake me down Cause I don't like Holding on to all of these feelings And I just need to let this out Let this out, no Conversations I have with myself A lot in here that I'm dying to tell Keeping quiet cause it's all I know mm -hmm. Oh, hush away but it keeps coming back Can't contain the emotions I have In and out, gotta let it go when it rains, let it pour Sure.